Welcome back. You know, this video of Cincinnati firefighters rescuing a north side dog stuck between two concrete walls is everywhere right now. We first showed it to you this weekend when Gertie's humans told us she'd been missing for five days before a neighbor heard her whining in that crevice. And now we are talking to that firefighter whose sledgehammer work freed Gertie. Jen Adkins is with us live right now. Jen, it's so great to have you with us. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> I what has the response been since this video came out? Insane. Uh, I think everybody just needed a happy little story once. So it's gone way further than I expected it to. Uh, absolutely. It seems like it truly is everywhere right now. Kind of the rescue we all needed. I want to talk strategy for a minute, though. You know th that Gertie is in there. Uh, what did you try to get her out at first? Uh, we tried to get her out the way that she came in. Uh, we were told that she came through a crevice in the little attic slash ceiling part of the building. So after about 10 minutes of looking, we never found the hole that she came through. Um, so at that point, my lieutenant was like, well, we got to go through the wall. We got to get her. And that would be the quickest and safest way to do it. And we got with her. We punched the hole. She just had to be right there at the exact same level. So yeah, you're, you know you've got to go through that concrete, but how do you do that without punching a hole and hurting her too? Uh, well, we did it slow at first. We started with cutting, which I'm assuming once she heard the noise, it made her back off a little bit. She knew what part we were coming through. Um, and then when my partner, Firefighter Flannery, started hitting the wall, I went up top for a few minutes and I was trying to kind of holler at her and call her name and get her to go to the opposite end because once I saw that he was through the wall, she wanted to come out. She was getting closer and closer every time the hole got bigger. So I tried to keep her away a little bit while he, he did a lot of work. He busted through that wall quick. And then I came down and we switched out and she, as soon as the hole was big enough, she was ready to go. Yeah, we, as you were saying that we're watching the video of it happen at first, she has like a moment. It looks like she, where maybe she was a little hesitant and then she realized like, oh, wait, I, I can get out now. Um, I think the best part of this video, though, is that reunion. That's actually my favorite part. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I think one, the other part that I really love is that reunion where she's running to meet her people and her whole backside's just shaking. Um, I could feel it in my arms. Her <laughs> whole body was just wiggling. She was, was ready to go. I was just going to ask what that moment must have felt like, right? I loved it. I loved it. I'm a dog mom, so I know that feeling of when you see your pet after a long time. It's just the best feeling in the world, and I know that the dog felt it too. All right, we only have a, a few seconds left, but have you heard from her family since? They stopped by the firehouse yesterday, but I wasn't on shift, so I'm hoping that I get to see them soon. Oh, excellent. Cincinnati firefighter Jen Adkins giving Gertie the dog a new leash on life in Northside. <laughs> Thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon.